Erosikits Marishvili's death. First results of medical expertise. Increasing prices on medicine. The reasons are not certain. GMO products regulations. How it will influence the local market. It's 6.30 p.m. in Tbilisi. You are watching news stream by GIFA students. I'm Tatia Kuhalashvili. And I'm Karin Tomas, and thank you for watching us. According to the independent expert Maya Nikolashvili, one of the founders of popular Rustavi to TV channel Erosik Ismarishvili was shot by a close bullet in his head. Our reporters Tantat Valavadze and Nadakit Zainali followed the news. According to the independent expert Maya Nikolai Shulik, it's Mario Shulik was wounded by a closed bullet in his head due to the request of the family Nikolai Shulik involved in the examination process. Body examination is completed after the research will be conducted for the car as well as accident place. Former shareholder of TV company Rustavi to and mayoral candidate of city Rustavi Erosik, it's Mario Shulik, had been found dead yesterday in Tbilisi accident occurred on the Abashidze Street, the underground garage of his apartment. In the terms of Erosik, it's Mario Shulik, is the chief prosecutor on the basis of the aforementioned information, an investigation has been launched under the Article 115 in relation to the crimes that involve pushing a person to commit suicide. But this is person friends, Padre Nanitashvili rules out of the scenario of a suicide. With regard to Erosi Kitsmarishvili's death, according to him, he met Erosi on 40 July and talked about the future plans. As for his friend Nana Lejava, she is surprised and don't know nothing. An investigation into the case is underway. Witnesses are being questioned. Different versions have a result in Erosik Ismarishvili's death are being de actively discussed. We will present further information in, in the immediate future. The prices on medicine have increased according to Kuratio Foundation. Our reporters Elena Chachawa and Tiko Gardeli are trying to find out what is the reason behind that. International Foundation Croatia published a third way report about ongoing processes in Georgian healthcare system. One of the findings of the research was the regular prices of medicine has been increased by 6.8%. Senade tablet price was 1 lari and 20 tetri, but now it costs 1 lari and 17 tetri. Consumers are annoyed. The pressure medicine called MPH costed 3 lari and 70 tetri, and the price now is 4 lari and 20 tetri. All drugs became more expensive. I used to buy blood pressure drug Arifon. It costed 11 laris. Now the price is 14 laris. For diabet, I used to take Amarin. Price is 19 laris. Recently, it costed 14 laris. I have high blood pressure. I used enalabrihan. The price was one lari, but within two weeks the price became one lari and half. Now I paid two laris. Actually, all drugs prices increased. I buy a lot of drugs for stomach and bile, and I can definitely say that the prices went up. I don't anticipate a drug price increase tendency. The value of medicine consists of production and distribution price. Sometimes the exchange rates have influenced on drugs price. Sometimes manufacturers increase production prices on particular drugs. That's why it has been created the impression that medicines became expensive. Gen genetically modified products will have a special sign from August. This is because of a new regulation that comes into force from August. Our reporters, Ara Harutsunyan and Lil Kochinyan, are exploring how this regulation will affect the local markets. 
From August, labeling of genetically modified product will be controlled by the Ministry of Environment. According to the draft law developed by the Ministry of Environment, Georgia is declaring a territorial close to living genetically modified organism. Genetically modified seeds will not freely enter a territory of Georgia. In addition, violation of the rules in activities related to the living genetically modified organism will be subject of administrative and criminal responsibility. Mrs. Medico, who is very happy for the regulation, prefers to buy healthy products. All the products that you see are natural and very healthy, not genetic. They are from our garden. We have no such kind of problems in the past, and this is new thing for me. I haven't known about this new law, but I think it's very useful for customers. Irma Kirkidadze, who is selling fruits and vegetables on Alexander Chavchavadze Street, says that this law will not affect her because all the products she sells are from Georgia and she will not have problem with the number of her clients. <laughs> We had a small fox pop in Tbilisi street and asked people what they think about this new regulation. It is often in winter when we have some tomatoes for New Year. These products are modified. Previous years, when we are not going to join European Union agreement, it was not controlled whether this product contained GMO, from where the products are coming, and whether they are healthy. I hope that this regulation will work, and it uh, it is a good job of the government to protect our health. <laughs> And for this regulation, as always, uh, there are a lot of uh, GMO products, not only in small, but in the big supermarkets as well. I don't check, but if it will be a real mark, it will help to understand, uh, is it a natural one or not. It will be good if the law works and someone will check in the market if they follow the regulations. It's very important. I'm a mother and I need to know whether this product is healthy for my child or not. Nani Memarme works in a small market near Rustavele Avenue. She was surprised when she knew about this regulation. In market we have products from Italy and they have a special mark, but in our country there is no regulation. Of course I support this law because uh, GMO products are dangerous for health, especially for elderly people, they may cause cancer. But on the other hand, the prices of the products will increase and will face with social problems. The whole market will suffer, not only big ones, but especially the small ones. The seen virus in South Caucasus registered in Georgia. The government is making steps to help these people. How effective are these steps? How accessible is the treatment for people with hepatitis C? Our reporters are Hartunyan trying to find out the answers on these questions. In Georgia, people who are suffering from hepatitis C are able to receive expensive medicines at a 60% discount. Now it costs $4,000 instead of $12,000. Kota Ruhadze from Georgian Network of Drug Users says that this is a step forward, but anyway, the price is still high for Georgian population. There are 200,000 people living with this diagnosis and only 1,030 people applied to get treatment by this program. Kota Ruhadze says that there are lots of stereotypes about people with hepatitis C. He says that it is not a problem for drug users only. People can go to the dentist, beauty salon, make tattoo or piercing and get infected if the equipments are not sterilized. <laughs> 
Ruhadze thinks that this attitude is a result of lack of information among people. Nata Kopaliani, head of Women for Freedom non-governmental organization, found out that she is infected by a third form of hepatitis C in 1999. She says that at that time the price of the treatment was $25,000. Only in 2012 she got funding from Global Fund and started to get treated. But there are thousands of people like Nata and not everyone has this opportunity. Эти люди продают дома, эти люди продают все, что у них есть. Эти люди собирают по соседям, по друзьям эту сумму. Вы представляете, если вам врач говорит, что у вас последняя стадия, у вас шанс всего полгода. Если вы успеете за, это, за эти полгода начать лечение до того, как перейдет ваша форма в цирроз печени, да, ты будешь жить. Если нет, ты умрешь. Now Nata is back to her everyday life. She won the disease and she lives as all other people. Nata thinks that having hepatitis C or being HIV positive is not a life sentence. You can live with that. Although she is HIV positive as well. She says that treatment of hepatitis C is very hard and harmful. Many people don't persist and they stop the treatment and even commit a suicide. <laughs> Настолько было это трудно, что я хотела покончить со своей жизнью и выкарабкалась. Опять же, помогла дочь, потому что она еще у меня несовершеннолетняя, мне нужно жить для нее. Some non-governmental organizations are doing free analysis for those people who want to check whether they are infected. HEPA Plus is one of them. Nino Babilashvili, who works in this NGO, says that 10 to 15 percent of people who come to their organization to give analyses are infected. Все объясняем, мы, у нас такая программа еще, что кондомы бесплатно мы даем, анализ тоже мы бесплатно здесь делаем, еще шприцы бесплатно даем, вот это такие спиртные салфетки тоже, чтобы... и после этого они неделю один раз приходят и забирают эти все. Despite these problems, Nata doesn't lose her hope. She has her own organization and tries to be an example for those people who don't find as much courage as Nata found to struggle with this disease. 25 years old journalist Begati Karishvili can be imprisoned from 7 to 14 years old for keeping 69 gram marijuana. This case provoked activists to start the campaign of decriminalization of marijuana. Georgi Parkusadze followed the development of the process. Beka criminali araris. Beka araris criminali araris. Beka criminali araris. Beka's Karshul's friends organized a campaign to save him from the state's strict drug policy. He was arrested for keeping cannabis a year ago and now is waiting for court's final decision. Despite of this campaign, according to the law, for 69 milligrams of cannabis, Beka might will be sentenced from 7 to 14 years in prison where he had already spent 18 days. Becca says during a year he was offered for procedure agreement several times but in the last months prosecution refuses and negotiations. They say government policy got more strict. Permanent campaign is organized by a movement called June 2, and they regularly make creative protest actions and demand the criminalization of cannabis usage. Even more, Georgian network of people who use drugs and other NGOs demand to decriminalize drug usage in general. They say user needs treatment, not punishment.
All these groups are reminding the government members their parliament pre-election promises of making state drug policies lighter. They also are pointing on inadequate punishment measures in compare with other heavier violations of law. They claim urgent reforms in the law article. Despite of several tries to interview parliament deputies, they did not find any time to comment on the issue. Date of Becca's postponed court process is approaching, and if there is nothing changed, he will lose from 7 to 14 years of his life. Children with Down syndrome get very low pensions from the government. They have no perspectives to work after school graduation. Sona Simonian spoke with a girl with Down syndrome and her mother to figure out what kind of problems they are facing every day. There are normally 46 chromosomes in each cell, extra full or partial copy of chromosome, results Down syndrome. In Georgia, there is no certain statistics how many children have Down syndrome. When born, doctors do not diagnose them, and only general disability status is given to those children, supporting with the sum of 100 lari. Irina, Nina's mother, is the only one who works in their family. <laughs> I have three children. Nina is the youngest one. I found and adopted her. The symptoms were seen when I found her. With the time, she became what she is now. I raised them up alone, as my husband died 17 years ago. Only when she was 12, I could get the pension from the government. Before that, I couldn't get even one penny. In August, Nina will be 20 years old. Most of the things she is doing by herself. She is attending to Parents Bridge Center, from where she is always going home on her own. Teona Kaceishvili is the head of Parents Bridge organization. This center is for children with disabilities. Here they are playing, eating, passing psychological classes, use their free time on the things they like to do. We have children who are a little bit aggressive, like autists and others, and children with Downy syndrome, they always help us. They are very warm, they are also balancing the aggression, and it's very easy to communicate with them. The main problem when Nina will finish the school is to have a profession to work, as 100 lari for living when she will be grown up is far away to be enough for living. For four years, I was persuaded to give Nina to an orphanage. Everyone was telling, for what I keep her. I said, I can't, and I kept her. Now, I can't imagine how could I live without her. The main problem with education, children don't go to kindergartens and have problems attending the school. Our reporter Lala Leva is looking at the other Bajani community in Chirtakhan. This is Chirtakhan, Georgian colleagues, the Movidis, Tasakhleba. The population mainly Azerbaijani people who started to live here before World War II. And uh, they think that the former president, Mikhail Saakashvili, started his political career from this region. Да, <laughs> No, 
Народ рабочий. В основном хотя многие окончили институт, университет, здесь работу все равно не дают. Это национальный вопрос. Раньше в Союзе вообще не давали, сейчас хоть что-то есть. В Советском Союзе не давали работу. Азербайджанец keep by traditions for centuries. For example, with red ribbon means that uh, there was a wedding in this house and must be kept till it won't not be dried and felt away. With old man Karim, he is one of those first who came to live in Chirtakhan after World War II. Otuz the name of this community comes from Azerbaijan. The resident of Chirtakhan Khalil says that there is the same village in Azerbaijan named Chirtakhan, and people mainly come from this village. So they are from Chirtakhan to Chirtakhan. Yaxşı yekə Hüseyniyə tikdik özümüz. Orada namaz qılırıq, orada eysan veririk, eysanı da orada veririk çox vaxtı. Bunların çoxu namaza gedir. The education problem is one of the most problematic issues in population of Çırtaxan. Despite of the problems, Azerbaijan and Shortahan are happy to live together and consider themselves as a one big family. Ürəyimiz yananda çay, ətirli sən dadlısa çay, 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 ətirli sən dadlısa. That's it for today. Thank you for watching us. Hey, you can ask tomorrow at 6 o'clock.